The lighting for this video is brought to you by Coleman, fine makers of lanterns all over the world. Well, a long time ago. Well, it's that time of uh, time of year again. Where it's the annual take the sled apart and uh, give her a once over. This is a 2005 model, and uh, for sleds it's starting to get up there, especially the amount of uh, kilometers I've put on it throughout the years. Oh, not too much this year, I only put like maybe 500 kilometers on it. Um, as it gets older, there's things you definitely have to check for in these sleds. What I do every year is I, I first of all check that famous Y pipe there for uh, any cracks um, which if it does crack it can suck air back in during the scavenging process and uh, melt down Mr. Piston and you don't want that so you always check that every year because they're famous for cracking and they're like probably like 200 bucks I, I would imagine for a new one next thing I check is my ray valves I uh, always uh, take them out clean them up, although this year they were pretty much, there wasn't much of anything on them uh, at all really, uh, a little bit of carbon on the sides of the, the valves and that was about it uh, so I, I, right now I switched over to AMS, AMS oil uh, synthetic uh, injector oil and uh, I, I was using the shell synthetic but uh, the stuff seems to be doing better of course, I uh, grease the uh, only two greasable items on my uh, steering. Right down there, they're a little hard to get at. Uh, if you take the pipe out, they're really easy to get at. And of course, you want to also inspect your skis. I suspect your uh, ball joints there. I know mine are good because I just put a set in like uh, two years ago. It should still be good tie rod ends yeah, still good upper control arm and your uh, bottom of your skis your carbides you want to make sure that they're not worn off like uh, a lot of sleds you see them almost uh, down to the plastic you don't want that uh, next thing I always do is uh, you've all heard of the infamous uh, car boots cracking ripping open I can honestly say I these look brand new. Uh, they're the original car boots. I said the sled has about three, 13,300 kilometers on it. And uh, I just pull them apart and spec them uh, every year and there's never been an issue. Not a rip, not even a beginning of a rip. They look brand new. Uh, I don't know, it must be a quality control issue or something like that with them. Some summer shitty some aren't way down there I don't know if you can see but uh, that is uh, the pump the oil pump for the oil injection I always check that little cable down there make sure it's not fraying you know, like I said the sled is getting all getting up there and you gotta start checking these things along with your uh, your coolant lines your fuel line and uh, wiring you know, I just got to give her just a quick uh, once over, see there's nothing wearing, like that the oil line right down there. I uh, have to check that because it's rubbing on the uh, cover for the jack shaft. And you don't want that to spring a leak or it's uh, season over for some of us. And of course, I always check my uh, pull cord. I take the whole assembly off, I take it apart and uh, lubricate up all the moving parts, make sure everything engages well. If you do that, you know, you'll never, the appaller is one of the parts in there will break before the rope does. If you keep it well uh, lubed up and uh, well iso, not isoflex, yeah, I can't remember the other type, type of grease that goes in it. I think I put uh, super lube on this on the inside there and it's uh, good to go. 
don't uh, break your spring like I did or you have to use the old heat method to uh, to fix it so yeah you always check like I said check your lines here see if there's anything that might be developing you know like there's a lot of vibration in these two strokes and you want to make sure that uh, everything is tight which everything appears to be uh, this thing performed flawlessly this year and uh, Boy, I read the hell out of it, especially keeping up uh, up here this this year with the winter we had, keeping up with those mountain sleds. This thing was uh, cruising, and it never let me down yet. And of course, I'll be pulling off the chain case. I'll be uh, inspecting my uh, brakes. Actually, those pads. Yeah, they still look pretty good. Actually, fuck yeah. I don't think I'll ever have to replace them. I'll pull the chain case apart, drain it, uh, pull the bearings out, repack them. And uh, it should be good to go. That's how I do every couple of years, I'll repack them. And I've never had a bearing failure on this sled yet. Same with the skid, I'll do the same. Pull every bearing off. Uh, check the uh, shocks, make sure they're still good. Uh, this sled's near the end of its life in, the, in regards to uh, shocks, but uh, probably get a couple more years out of it. Maybe. Well, I'll probably have to replace the keyway there, and that uh, that rotor tends to uh, wear, and uh, you get that uh, infamous uh, clunk clunk. No big deal, but. Uh, Probably put a new key with a uh, new key in there. Just be on the safe side. I'll uh, also pull off my skid, like I mentioned. I'll pull the skid off, which is very simple to do. A lot of people say it's a two-man job. It ain't. It's very simple. Changing sliders is very simple. Yes, you can leave the the. You don't have to pull the slot the the skid out. Of course, you always check your uh, track for any uh, tears or rips as well. Spin it over, spin it around, and uh, make sure all your uh, clips are still intact. You can get a special crimping tool to put them back on. If uh, these things are these things are pretty indestructible, they don't wear that much, except for maybe the clutch buttons and the secondary. I got different springs in here, of course, for a little bit of extra performance. And I will pull that jack shaft bearing out, have to press that out. And